27 saves so far this season. 4-1 and 2 record. LSU on the attack early. Trying to send one in, and they do, but it's too high. That is a McWhorter assist and a Mummert goal, and it is a great start for the Bulldogs here at home against a really good LSU team. And LSU trying to respond, and they do! Just like that, 30 seconds later, LSU gets on the board, and if you tuned in late, <laughs> you have missed some early fireworks here in Starkville. Yeah, Alicia Garcia right there <laughs> on the benefit of that nice service across. And that's how you answer here in the first half. Wadsworth already has a goal. And she had to hold up there to avoid the offsides. Yeah. No one she could pass the ball to. Well, I think she was looking to maybe take a shot, and I think her touch may have just been a little heavy. LSU really flipping it around, trying to flip the field. Trying to use their athleticism and speed trying to, to their advantage. Trying to look at Noel. Noel way out there. Anderson, easy save. 25 and change to go first half, two to one. Our score remains. LSU again coming off that right side. Yeah, you see Herman's daughter just really doing a nice job of putting the ball through. Well, that was a good looking pass. Yeah, I was watching the action, didn't look at the, the flag on the other side. McWhorter with the takeaway and now Mississippi State with a chance to break here. Bulldogs running three on four. McWhorter sends it in, and Swift goes down and grabs it for the save. And, you know, LSU was down in that match against Missouri at home. Managed to come back. LSU, well, that's a hot shot, a little too high. Anderson went up there, but LSU with Herman's daughter votes in at least one of uh, the polls as well. So people begin to take notice of these two teams, sending it in, and Anderson unable to keep it in play, and LSU makes her pay for it. Anderson unable to cleanly save it, and LSU on the rebound has knotted things up. They get the equalizer. We're tied at two with under five to play here in the first half. Yeah, that's the one thing you talk about these shots from distance is the one thing you have to deal with is the rebound, and Tilly Wilkes right there to put in the rebound. Down there in the first half comes to a close, <laughs> and what a first half it was, tied at two. Yeah, it was, it was intense. You know, it started out just – Fast paced, kind of settled in, and then LSU gets that equalizer late in the first half. So we've two of the best teams in the conference so far, and they've shown it tonight, knotted it to each. Eric pass, Mississippi State with an opportunity here. Looking for Wadsworth. Wadsworth had it knocked away at the last second. Beautiful defense there yeah, by LSU. Lindsay, Lindsay Jennings, we talked about it. Veteran player to create scoring chances in the final third. Bulldogs flipping the field over to Gutierrez on the left side. Swift, good job. Yeah, Got her gloves up there and avoided dropping that or deflecting it and allowing State a rebound opportunity. Yeah, that ball was headed right toward McWhorter for the header opportunity and Swift, very nice job of claiming that one. State not giving them any room to breathe. Hodge with the interception. Wadsworth and a good defensive stop. Yeah, you know, obviously just a disappointing uh, end to the game there in terms of uh, in terms of the late PK that we gave away. I think that the initial contact was outside the box, so it's disappointing. I have to look at it on video. Um, but I think all credit to, to Mississippi State. They, they made it difficult from start to finish. I don't think you could come on the road um, and concede three, uh, three goals on set pieces and expect to win in the SEC. So that's something that we're definitely going to have to to get back on the training ground and take a look at. I was proud of the players for the response to uh, to both of their goals and to peg them back before half time. Um, but I think the disappointing thing tonight was that we didn't really apply the information they were given at half time in terms of how we wanted to to adapt in the second half and. Um, I think all credit to them, they, they turned us around and, and made things difficult, but I think we still had two or three really good chances in the second half that we didn't capitalize on and, and maybe on a different day those would have gone in for us. But 
you know, two wins out of three in the first three games in the SEC. We're not going to dwell on this. We're going to get back at home, get on the training ground, and start preparing for the Kentucky game next week.